Hello everybody, I'm Dallin Christensen from Whiteboard Business Partners and this is another edition of At The Whiteboard. As I hear people talk about entrepreneurship, I sometimes hear that word misused and switched with the word freelancer. Now there's nothing wrong with either being a freelancer or an entrepreneur. Both fields are great ways for people to take more control over their lives, their careers, and their time. But there are some differences between the two that I think people need to understand. If we look at what a freelancer is, a freelancer is somebody who works from project to project. Freelancers can be writers, graphic designers, web designers, other people who will work on a project to project basis. Now the great thing about being a freelancer is you do have ultimate control over your time. If somebody comes to you and wants to do a project and you're a freelancer, you have the ability to say no and protect your time freedom. The biggest drawback to being a freelancer though is that in essence you're really owning a job. You're going from project to project and you're at the whim of your clients and if you don't have any projects coming down the pipeline then you don't have any work coming in. You have to work extremely hard to market yourself and communicate your message so that you have those projects coming in. Let's contrast being a freelancer with being an entrepreneur. The biggest factor of being an entrepreneur is that in most cases you have some source of recurring income. That recurring income may be in the form of a downloadable product, a physical tangible product, or even a membership site or other type of activity where you're generating month to month income. Another big example of being an entrepreneur is that you can scale your business. You may be able to add more products, add more employees, hire more contractors in a way that allows you to do more business without you having to invest more time in the business. If you're a freelancer, then you only can do as much as your time schedule will allow you to do. And finally, when you're an entrepreneur, you're building a business. You're building something that has value. You're building an asset as opposed to being a freelancer where you're not really building a true business. You are the business, and if for some reason you decide you don't want to do it anymore, then the business simply dries up. If you are an entrepreneur, then you're building a business and you're building that asset which you could sell or pass along to other people. So as I mentioned, being a freelancer or being an entrepreneur are both great ways to make your business happen. It's just important to understand the differences. For more information on this topic, check out my newsletter, which will come out on the 15th of October, which will have a more detailed description of what it means to be an entrepreneur and build recurring income. For more tips and tools on how to build your business, visit www.whiteboardbusiness.com. I'm Dallin Christensen for Whiteboard Business Partners. I'm here to help you make your business happen.